Hi guys, good morning. So I'm just sitting in front of the mirror right now. Wow, the lighting looks so much better over here. But anyway, I just finished my makeup. It is Wednesday morning and Imani and I just finished getting ready. I'll show you guys my outfit by the door just so you guys can see like the full thing. But anyway, my makeup is the same. My lips are always like Kylie lip liner and coconut and then the buxom gloss. I change up the gloss or like the lip oil because sometimes I'll use the rotten one, but I actually didn't bring it on this trip. And then my jewelry is the same. I'm wearing the bracelet that my friend Da Hong made me. And we're gonna go to Soho today. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to go and take photos there for a while. So I'm really happy that I decided to make this like a girl's trip. And then also like the last leg of it is gonna be really fun too. So I'll show you guys that. I really don't know like what I'm gonna be doing. I might meet up with Imani again like once more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I don't have like a smoothing fi filter for this camera or do I? I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're just gonna head out right now. I'm gonna call the Uber and then we're gonna go. I'll see you guys later, bye. Well, I'll see you guys for my outfit, actually. Okay, the driver's gonna be here soon, but this is my outfit. Princess Polly, Naughty Boutique. I might get another one if they have it at Aritzia. Pants from Aritzia, and then shoes are Superga, and then I'm wearing my Nano Speedy today. It's so cute, actually, with this. And then I also have my eco bag for miscellaneous things, so yeah. And then I have my mask. And then my phone case, I actually don't remember where it's from, but the chain is from Organize My Bag. They sent it to me for a Palm Springs mini, but now I'm back, so I kept the chain. And then my hair, I used Imani's curling iron once again. I'll have it linked down below, or pretty sure she has like a video with an affiliate link, so I will link that down below. And we're gonna head out. But I wanna show you guys Imani's outfit, because she's not gonna do an OOTD. <laughs> the driver's gonna be here in like one minute. One minute? Yeah. Okay. No rush. That means hurry up. <laughs> my god, wait. <laughs> Stressing me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No, it's fine. They have like a, a three minute grace period. So. so Imani's outfit is actually super cute. Where's your top from? Zara. Okay. And then these are from Yesstyle. We actually have the same pants. And then same shoes from yesterday, the JJ Down Rebox. And then and this is from Primark, my little mesh bag. That's super cute. Okay, Thank let's you. go. Let's go. Okay, we're going. We're going to head out. I'll see you guys in the car. We went ahead and made our way down to Soho. I just got the driver because I know how to take the subway there, but I feel like I just never really want to walk if I'm too hungry or if I really need coffee. We ended up going to Cafe Kitsune, and this was located in West Village, I believe. I don't think this was in Soho, but this was in West Village, and it was a really cute cafe. I feel like I've seen so many bloggers take photos here or just like outfit of the days or just take a photo with their coffee here, and I always thought it was really cute, but I thought the coffee was a little bit better for my taste and I didn't really enjoy it too too much so you guys will see my coffee journey in this vlog it's really crazy but anyway I just tried to enjoy my croissant it was really really hard like I've never had a croissant this hard before I get it that the shell has to be like really flaky but I don't know you guys I just want to give you guys tips and like be honest with you because I don't want people like making the same mistake that I do you guys look at what Imani just got me <laughs> like it Do you have a piece of New York with you and your little, um, what is it? And I, I will remember you forever. <laughs> hey bitch, I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Did you get your food cup? No, I was going to get that. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I have now once seen this bitch eat fruit. I was like, okay. No, oh, I love food. <laughs> After we were done at the cafe, we actually came to Dante's and I've always seen this everywhere like of course, New York is like Manhattan is so small. I feel like that everyone just kind of goes to the same places, but this was really cute. We ended up doing some photos here. People were walking by, which was fine. I didn't really mind it too much. Um, I mean, it's a street. It doesn't belong to anybody, but Imani was just helping me take some photos, which I was really grateful for and she like understood the assignment. So coming soon. <laughs> It's a little loud because they're doing construction, but we're actually headed to Soho right now. We're gonna go to the Zara over there as if we haven't gone to all of them already. And we're just waiting for the driver right now. We had coffee at Cafe Kitsune, but honestly, I wasn't like a huge, huge fan. It was like really bitter, so I need another cup of coffee. We were gonna go to Ralph's, but we'll probably do that like later. So yeah, just waiting for the driver. Mine and Imani's like last 
whole day together so I'm super sad about it but we're gonna make the most of today and um, <laughs> I know I'm just like I just get like really clingy like when we're together like when we're not together I don't really care <laughs> I mean, but like when we're together then I'm like don't leave but it's just weird because I know she's only like a few miles away but I'm still like sad but Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get through. Then we went to the Zara in Soho and I just tried on these shorts. Nothing really caught my eye, but I did not like how this looked on me. Fitting rooms are essential. Hi, good. Um, I'm gonna get a uh, chai latte. Can I get that? With, do you guys have soy? We have soy non oat milk and an almond cashew blend. Okay, can, do you have 2%? We have whole and skin. Uh, okay, that one's fine. Um, is it iced or hot? Um, iced, please. And do you want it sweetened? Uh, yes, please. Thirsty girl. <laughs> Oh, let me see what, what places they recommend. Oh, sure, that me. <laughs> places they recommended. Honestly. Why is this big old bag? Let me just take it out. I didn't like, I mean, I like wanted it for the vlog, but it's like too big. Turn it off. I'm gonna throw this away. I've had two bad coffees today and they were both my fault because I literally chose the place. <laughs> so um, we're going to Lululemons now and to yep. Gentle Monster. Oh, we're going to Gentle Monster because Jenny Kim is influenced. I'm just kidding. I don't know why you want to go there. I want to go there because of Jenny. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I need another coffee now. <laughs> anyway, see you guys. Bye. I really loved Gentle Mantra's store because it kind of felt like you were in an art museum as well as like a sunglasses retail spot. So cool. It was actually founded by Hankook Kim in Seoul and he created the brand because he wanted to cater to the Western market and he found that the bigger glasses actually made the faces look a lot smaller and in Korea that's something that they really love is like small faces. When you give a compliment to someone in Korea and you say, oh my god, your face is so small, they take that as a compliment. So he did that because he found that they weren't really common at the time and then he went on to collaborate with Korean rappers and Jenny Kim from Blackpink and then also with the Chinese technology company which is called Hue. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but they also have glasses that you can get and put your prescription in there which I think is really great because they had really really cute styles and they've collaborated with Jenny Kim, Beyonce, Rihanna, Gigi Hadid and Billie Eilish so I think it's really cool I just love the unique designs that the brand has and yeah I loved seeing this location they also have one in LA so I would love to go there or take Imani to go to see that one when she comes to LA but that was my experience here. After we were done at Gentle Monster, we were so, so hungry. So Imani got a froze. We went to Baltazar, by the way, and I got a burger. I really, really loved my burger. This was probably one of the best burgers that I've had. And Baltazar is kind of known as like a tourist trap just because it's right there in the middle of everything. But it was really good. I always enjoyed my time here and I love the food here. So after that, we did go to Starbucks so I can get a coffee once again. They're pretty consistent. So I liked it. I got Amazon. Go in? I want a new book. Oh, so recording? Yeah. <laughs> just got my coffee. The lady just like yelled at me. It's fine. Okay, let's go. I know they're gonna tell me to put my drink over there. Fishing. Oh my god, this was my favorite book, but it was way, it was like way bigger. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Oh my god, this is my favorite book. Hi guys, so we went into the Allure store and <laughs> and they basically show like um, their top like selling products, which we thought was pretty cool. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty cool. Like you can also go on their website to see all of the things that are like the top rated. 
Um, and I feel like a lot of this stuff we already use, <laughs> like yeah. just like random things like here and there. Um, I ended up getting a Starbucks because I didn't like any of my coffees, but like I said, that was my fault. So looking for a place to take photos. <laughs> so I wanted photos in Soho, but oh, this is kind of cute. I think like half, like half yeah. over there. I'll let you guys know the location and then I'll put them down below in case you guys are interested. Whoa, okay, there we go. We're near Little Italy too. Girl, okay. it's hot as fuck out here. Okay, oh, I think, so we're gonna so take I the photos and then um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hmm? Hotel? Oh, you have to go to put Hotel Hendrix and then room number is 10, 8, 1006. So we're just waiting for the Uber right now. I really wanted to take the subway today, but you know what? Things just got in the way, so. <laughs> So, um, and it's hot as balls out here, so I told Imani that we'll just get a driver, so we're waiting for him right now, and um, she got me this super cute little eco bag um, from Cafe Kitsune, 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 because it's, it's Cafe Kitsune, I, I, I don't know, Kitsune, I don't know, but anyway, I'm just waiting for the driver, and then we're going to go back to the hotel, hang out for a bit, and then, I'm so sorry for the noise. After that, we are going to do something else. Oh, go get ramen, actually. She wanted to get ramen for dinner. Uh, Ipuro. Yeah. Ipuro. Ipuro. I actually went there years ago. I'm going to try to find the photo. I'll insert it. If I can. You're maybe. You're going to insert it? <laughs> I think I still have it. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm going to look for it. Anyway, the driver's going to be here soon, so... I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hi guys, so we're going to dinner right now. We're gonna go to Ipuro, which is a ramen spot. I think it's like Japanese ramen. So my headband is from a little shop in Baltimore. My necklace is from, you guys know, you guys already know, Ana Luisa. And then my earrings, and then this top is from Zara. I just got this like yesterday. And then my pants are from H Style, and then I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks because they feel like most comfortable to walk in. I almost wore my other, like I have some like those, but you guys know they have like the two straps. But I just didn't feel like wearing them today, so. And then Imani said she was just gonna wear um, sneakers, so that's why I was like, okay. And then I almost brought my little, my little like mini pochette ish, but then I just figured I would just bring this one because I wanted to also bring my camera, but not really hold it. So my, oh, I guess I could bring my little eco bag. Well, are you buying anything? No. Yeah, so I wouldn't bring it then. Oh, um, because okay. there's um, seating in there, depending on where they seat us. It's like you're not. You gonna... can't put. You don't have space, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely noticed that I do this a lot. I always cut Imani through her sentences and then try to finish them. And I know I need to stop. I'm gonna work on that. But if you guys like see me do that in the video, just know that I'm aware and I apologized for it because I. I do notice it as well, so that's all I wanted to say. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go. I guess we're just gonna walk there. My mask, and I'll see you guys there. Bye. Imani just changed her top, I think. Yes. Yeah, okay. right? So we're gonna go. Depending on how it feels, maybe I'll call a driver when we're halfway there. <laughs> we'll see. Bye. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go now, then. You can see on the menu. Okay, you thank you. I've been to the bigger one, huh? The one where they have like a big... Yeah. We went to the Ipuro on 5th Ave and it was actually really cute. Most of the ramen spots in Japan are actually really, really small and you're supposed to just go in, eat, and then leave. Like, you gotta do it really quick, especially in Japan because that's just how their culture is. It's really fast-paced and... I've never been to Japan, but I'm just letting you guys know based off of what I've seen. But this was what mine looked like. Super, super yum. I love all the scallions in there. I love scallions so much. That's probably like my favorite type of onion. And that was what hers looked like. I don't remember which one I got, to be honest. I think it was something spicy, but it was really good. And I did have to wear a little bib just because I actually got a few splashes on my napkin and I didn't end up getting dirty, which was really good. The noodle was really, really yummy. It was the perfect perfect texture i have actually tried ipuro in santa monica but they recently closed due to covid i don't think anybody was going there but also the ramen did not taste the same i remember when i went there i was like this cannot be the same spot because i was familiar with the name of it but anyway i got a diet coke and it was super yum i love diet coke but i don't drink it all the time after that we just paid and got ready to head back to the hotel and I actually wanted to show you guys what the hotel looked like from the outside. So it just says Hendrix on it. And I love the outside. It's super cute. And it was just really modern. They actually opened during COVID. So that was a little questionable, but I really liked it. They have a really small lobby. So just go to your room right after you're done. And there's really nothing else to it. Look at my belly. 
Hi guys, we just got back to the room from dinner and it was actually really nice because we just like got to walk back. Honestly, it's so funny because here I don't mind walking, but if I was in LA, like I would have definitely taken an Uber for that half a mile that we walked. I don't know, it's just different, but anyway, I think just because everyone walks here, not everyone walks in downtown. I feel like they're a little bit, or we're a little bit more Percy over there, which is kind of weird, but anyway um i think we're gonna go out to like a rooftop or something just to like have a drink or two since it's our last night together yeah so i think we're gonna go to like a rooftop or something so you guys are gonna switch to the to the phone because i'm obviously not gonna vlog like with my camera there uh let me just wash my hands really quick because i feel like it's out i just facetimed with jazzy she called me she wanted to talk longer but i'll see her in a week or two Oh, my lips look so pink. I'm gonna pack up my bags um, just because of the other hotel. So let's do that now because I'm not gonna want to do that in the morning. And we still are not doing anything right now. But it's only, isn't it? Is it only like 8.45? Imani. No. On time? Oh, but it's 8.50. 8.50. Oh, I was close. I was so close. Anyway, I finished packing up well, like 80% of my clothes or whatever. Um, These are not like flattering angles. Imani said we should go out tonight, but I don't know what to do. I'm going to unbox this. I got... Are we focused? I got this card holder to match with my YSL Small Lulu. And it's like their pebble feather, which I think is really durable. It's super pretty. It didn't have like a plastic on the YSL emblem, so I don't know if it's supposed to have it, but super super cute and it has like two slots on this side and then a middle pocket and then two on this side the Louis Vuitton one only has like one and one so I thought this one was just better and I feel like it'll hold up like carrying cash better so yeah that's all that I got because you guys know I had the other one before but that is the unboxing anyway I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully I'll remember to vlog well i will remember to vlog but i'm gonna vlog tomorrow just a little bit i don't know how much of the day i can so you guys will obviously see because it'll be like two days together but yeah i'm gonna put this one away now and that's all for tonight folks we didn't end up going out because i'm an old lady okay. hi guys good morning it's our last night in this room and then we're moving to the other hotel tomorrow but we're gonna go get coffee right now it is 8.32 and I'm just wearing this top it's from Naughty Boutique and then the skirt is from Princess Polly and then my Birkenstocks and then just this bag I'm just wearing all black and I don't know <laughs> no, I didn't really mean to and then my hair is just straight today so let's go get some coffee, bye <laughs> Sit like in the middle, like in one of those, because it's kind of like shady over there. Oh yeah, we can. But it's up to you. I don't know if like the lighting is good. No, yeah, I really don't care about the lighting. Just as okay. long as we're comfortable, we should go. Yeah, we should go over there. We're just looking for a comfortable spot. 
to like beer or any of those tables. Like okay. it really doesn't matter. Like if it's sticky. I have. I'm just gonna put the napkin down. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh my god. More. Hold on. Yeah, I need that. It's so cool, and it's like the perfect size too. Mm. I got an almond croissant. Mmm. Oh. This one's good though. Good. Mmm. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel like running through my veins. <laughs> Honestly, I only got like three hours of sleep. I don't know how I'm awake right now. Yeah, I think maybe the coffee didn't work because you were like probably jet lagged. And also you have an espresso too, so I feel like that coffee's stronger. Oh yeah. I love the way that it like extracts and it's mm -hmm. so like, oh man. So we are heading out. As you can see, we have our suitcases. We're gonna go to the other hotel. They're just gonna hold our bags just so we could like do stuff because I'm bored as fuck right now. I'm just kidding. I would just like you guys to know that I wasn't actually bored. I was just really tired and Imani doesn't take naps. So whenever I feel like we just weren't really doing anything, like I was literally about to fall asleep. So that's why I just recommended for us to go ahead and move to the other hotel so we wouldn't be in a rush and then we could just go out and do other things. So I just wanted to clarify that because some people said that we were a little mean to each other in my last vlog but that's literally how we are like we just have we just banter back and forth and i always apologize if i feel like i'm being too mean or if i said something wrong or she can just feel free to tell me like if she felt a certain way we don't really like hide anything from each other or we don't like i think we really understand each other's sense of humor and the way that we speak to each other so that's why we get along so well well i mean we've literally just been sitting here for like 20 minutes so yeah we're just gonna go to the other hotel i'm gonna check out and then i'll update you guys on what we're doing bye hi guys so i just checked into the arlo this is what the restroom looks like i got a lot of recommendations for like arlo nomad arlo soho so this one is actually midtown and i actually really love like <laughs> i love the mirror i like that there's like a backlight and you can like do your makeup here set stuff there that's the shower i don't know what 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 is that i don't i can't read that i'm so blind so that's the restroom there's imani hi <laughs> And then here that is, they have like, what do you call that? Umbrellas and stuff, like just in case you need it right there. And then it's actually super tiny. Oh, this is the closet. Where? This. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least you can see everything laid out though. Yeah. And then this is bed, just one. I don't know if this is a king or queen. Or, oh, I think it's a king because it's definitely not the size of my bed at home. <laughs> super cute. And then there's like a little little bench area so that's really cute and tv you can order stuff yeah really simple and they have a do not disturb light too so i guess you just oh this. yeah that's you know. so good nice really cute anyway did you want to go <laughs> are we gonna go do something yeah. i have no idea like oh uh, i love this mirror it's so tall i know so cute so tall i i i like both of them imani said she likes this place better but it's like just more like crowded i feel like and i feel like we like needed space i guess i i like the lobby a lot oh yeah and then you saw the plants hanging yeah the ceiling. those are cute pretty. okay so i think we're gonna head downstairs oh my god this lighting is so good so good or maybe it's just the camera <laughs> honestly this camera is really good like yeah yeah i don't know what it is but it's like really i feel like it's worth it and i think it's like five something i don't know i was looking at them on ebay i might buy another one imani used to have it but she sold it <laughs> and the other one i just feel like the other one is so big like i can't get with it yeah and then my lashes i have not gotten my lashes done in like a month already so. but they look like i just got them done it's so funny anyway i think we're good 
excuse me, <laughs> we're gonna go upstairs. I'll see you guys later, bye. This is the view, just other buildings. That's all. Yeah, like, like anybody can go in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they have slippers? That's funny. Usually in Cabo, they give you the slippers. Oh, what, for free? Yeah. Oh. oh, these are actually good. My nail salon has them. Yes, I tried the watermelon ones. I like it. to a Japanese bookstore. We're on, are we on fifth or sixth? We're on sixth, we're on sixth right now. I'll have it listed down below so you guys can see it. Oh my God, this is funny. Cats on catnip. I'm a local, I'm in Whole Foods. Huh. Not me buying chicken breast pretending I'm gonna cook it at home. Oh my god, I love those. Oh, I love this. Looks actually a really good price compared to Aritzia. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting a pair of these. Let's try. I'm a size 4 in Aritzia, but I'll try both. I just love that there's no loud music here so I don't get copyrighted. Oh my god, it's so hot. So we came to And Other Stories. It's a store here next to Koss in New York. Um, I'm, I feel like we have one in LA as well, but I've never been to it, but I just saw this one on the corner, so we decided to come. <clears throat> So I have like these pants here that I think are super cute and then they have an upstairs. So I'm gonna see like what else I can try on and I'm just looking for like, oh those are nice. Some like really nice basics. I know I'm like sweating because it's so hot outside but maybe we'll go to Sephora and I'll get like a setting powder. Oh my god, everything is so cute. I love this color for fall, even though it's like a baby blue. I think most people like associate it with, with summer, but I really like it for fall. That's cute. I don't know, I'm touching everything, but it's fine. So these are like their lounge clothes, I guess. Really nice. I think like business like casual is on this side, so let's go over here. These pants are kind of nice. This is like definitely more my style. Oh, I love this actually. I would like you to know that no, that vest did not like me back. I really like that. I'm seeing extra small. These are the pants that were up front, so I'll do a size. What? This color. These pants I did not love. It just made my stomach look weird and it was too big on the waist and on like the stomach area and then i just didn't really like the flare i felt like it made me look a little bit shorter than what i actually was i'm five four by the way five feet like it's giving me like five feet and under vibes for these pants i didn't love it or hate it i was kind of a little bit indifferent about it i didn't really know how to style this because i feel like it was gonna look a little bit too baggy on me and you can see at the waist it's a little bit big but it was okay um i didn't end up getting this one either 
This top was a little confusing. It was cinched at the waist, but it was loose on the arms, and I didn't think that looked really flattering. It kind of just made my arms look a little bit bigger than what they actually are, so I did not like that. This vest I wasn't too sure about, but I actually really like it now that I'm seeing it in the video. I didn't like it initially because that isn't normally what I would pair it with, but now that I'm thinking about it, there are definitely things that I would love to mix and match with it, so I will probably go back and get this one when I go back to New York. Oh, here it is. People are always like cross here. Oh, I'm gonna start you from like, you should look and try. Oh, oh, vlogging? Yeah. Hi guys, we're going to Burger and Lobster right now. We're on 43rd. Oh, you know, where are we? Oh, so anyway, we're going to Burger and Lobster. I just checked the, oh shit, my water. I just checked the recommendation list from my subbies. Um, well, some of you guys just wrote it on Instagram. I didn't really ask for any on YouTube because Himani's from here. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no, no. Literally, this thing is not focusing and it's pissing me off. Oh. Hi guys, we're at Burger and Lobster now. <laughs> Imani got the lobster roll, which actually looks super delicious. I'm gonna go there when I go in like two weeks, but it looks so good. And then I got the burger. I believe this is just their house burger. And then I just took the tomatoes off and then I asked for the onions to be grilled because I don't like raw onions. And it was really, really good. It was cooked perfectly. I don't know if I like this burger better or if I like Baltazar's burger better, but I honestly love both. And I was just so happy that I got to have a burger because I was craving in and out so bad, but these burgers were so, so good. I wish the bun was a little bit less fluffy and a little bit more toasted but it was still good nonetheless and then we also substituted our fries for truffle fries and that made it like 10 times better so highly recommend we just finished lunch i'm super super stuffed we're gonna go back to the hotel and i don't know what else we're gonna do i think we're just gonna hang out there for a while but the food was super yum and imani has actually tried this place already so she already knew about it even though my subscriber told me about it so yeah, it was really good and I just had the burger. Hold on. Hi, yeah. Thank you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. What are you gonna do? You wanna go back to the room? Mm -hmm. Hello. Daddy oh, make fat, fat lunch. That's me. That's me. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Hudson Yards and I will vlog when I go outside, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This is from Zara, this is from Princess Polly, super good. And then I'm just wearing my Nano Speedy for old time's sake, and that's it. Bye. That's crazy. That's how I wish my apartment was. Going to Hudson Yards. I filmed my outfit in the room, but it was kind of dark. So I'm wearing this top from Zara, Princess Polly, and my Supergas, and my Nano Speedy. And we're gonna go to the Aritzia over here because is it? You said it's big, uh, or is it like the same size? But I've actually never been to this one, so I'm not sure. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited because I've actually never been to Hudson Yards, and I've always seen it in photos. But I'm sad that the hive is closed. Oh, is that what it's called? The it's hive? It's called the vessel. Oh, the vessel. Yeah. <laughs> it's called like a beehive or something. It looks like a beehive, though. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go there. It's pretty hot today, so I'm still wearing my sunnies. And it's my hair like literally went down like two seconds. Because I think it's so oh like God. humid out here, too. Wow. But it's still, it still has a nice wave to it, though. Oh, okay. Something, something, something. Yeah. All the buildings. Here. Never realized how close I was to be here. Maybe I should just walk there to get coffee or something. Somewhere new. Cause yeah, I actually think there's a coffee shop down here. Yeah. Thank you for showing me around New York, though. Of course, but we're gonna I had so much fun. The people on the side like yeah, this. We should cross the street. Lovely. Oh, it's one way. Sometimes I feel like my vision gets blurry when I'm wearing my sunglasses. Oh, so yeah. weird. Um, 
it. That's how it is in downtown too. We have like oh, a the cars. Yeah. Pretty simpler. I know you know when you're walking and you just like don't know what to do or say. So then you just start humming to yourself. Oh. Well, I always talk to I myself, do that. So. Oh my god, I'm sweating already, dude. That's me. Me. Like regardless. <laughs> well, contemplate. I got something in my eye. Oh, you're right? Uh, you guys know that the leather pants are all over TikTok and all over Instagram. Everyone loves them, so I thought I would go ahead and try some on. I actually really liked this pair out of all of the ones that I did try on because it was just so effortless, which is the name of it. So I also recorded the tag just so you guys know what styles I'm trying on, and these are the Melinda pants, I believe. I didn't really like this one. It says to go with your true size because they do end up stretching out, but it just did not feel comfortable, and so I really don't think that leather pants are for me. These are also some shorts that I saw, and I thought that they were really cute, but they were too similar to the ones that I already have, but I thought that these looked a little bit more effortless, so I actually like these a lot more than the ones that I have, but it's super cute. These are not exactly what I would pair them with because I just kind of wore them just to try it, and yeah, I actually do kind of like that one. These are just some shorts, and I thought these were really cute. I actually did end up getting some shorts that you guys will see in my next vlog, but they weren't these because the Aritzia in Soho actually didn't have them in stock. I really should have just walked and gone back to this one because I really love those shorts, but I ended up getting another pair that I don't like as much, but it still works for me. So I just needed like new pajamas because mine's were pretty dirty. And then this is a this is a long slip skirt. I really liked this one and then I tried on this top. I love jewel tones against my skin color so I loved this top so much but I didn't really know how to style it because I have a white one of that one as well. These are the Conan pants. I saw them in white. I actually have them in a cream beige color and I do really like them but I felt like the white was a little bit too see-through so I didn't end up getting those. I got back to my room and Imani left and I'm so so freaking sad like I literally was crying like a few minutes ago just because like i don't know i feel like you guys don't understand like friendships are super super rare for me and like for me to find loyal friends and friends that are low maintenance not that it not that low maintenance friends are a bad thing low maintenance friends just means friends that you don't have to check up on all the time friends that you know will call you if they need you or if they just want to chat about something just friends like that and i feel like I feel like Imani is definitely one of those and I just love that. I love that we don't have to check up on each other all the time. I love that we can just catch up right where we left off. And honestly, it it's just crazy because I feel like... I literally feel like we were like sisters, like long lost sisters, which is so weird. And it was funny because I was telling her sometimes I'll... Like sometimes I'll... I'll like, I will look at her videos or like her pictures and I'll be like, oh, it's like weird that I feel like we kind of look like each other, like in a sense, like it's it's just the weirdest, weirdest thing ever. And if I keep talking about it, I'm going to cry, but um, I just feel like super grateful for our friendship and I'm just like really, really grateful for like how far we've come, and, like how long we've, we've known each other since like I think 20, 2014 or 2015, something like that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, oh my god, it's been a long, long time, and, um, it's just really crazy that, like, we're still friends, and I just love that, like, we can keep our distance, but we're still, like, really cool, like, really chill, as if, like, nothing ever happened, like, um, it was definitely different, um, hanging out with each other for, like, four days straight, because it was literally four days, but honestly, I wouldn't have had it any other way, I think it's great that we got to experience that together, especially because I don't live here, and she doesn't live in LA, so I just feel really grateful for our friendship, um, I'm really happy that I came to New York to see her, because, uh, like, <laughs> anyway i'm just really happy that like we got to have that time together um and i'm happy that i documented a lot of it 
Um, we went to Aritzia just now and we just tried on a few things that we had our eye on. Um, unfortunately, like a lot of them were like either out of stock, not our size, not the color that we wanted. I wanted some of the cozy stuff, but they didn't have my size. So it sucks because like I feel like I don't want I don't want to feel like I waste like I'm wasting their time or anything. Like I mean, not that there was like a lot of other people there, but I just feel like I kind of. Like I always go in there like with the purpose like I kind of know like what I want or what I'm looking for and they don't have it like it just kind of sucks but anyway that was that and I think I'm gonna wear my green pants um, to go to Harriet's um, rooftop lounge because I'm gonna go to the one hotel in Dumbo after like I'm done taking my nap because I'm gonna take a nap right now um, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on like what was going on it's already six o'clock right now yeah anyway it's already six o'clock um i'm at the arlo midtown and i love this hotel so much it's so pretty so the hotel hendrix i think was a pretty good location it was a lot closer to fifth ave and all of the shops and everything just a shorter walk a lot more coffee shops over there like the bakery everything it's gonna be a little bit of a longer walk for me in the mornings for sure i could also just go to hudson yards to get coffee over there because blue bottles like right there um but it just sucks that like the she literally told me what it's called the whatever is closed anyway i'm gonna take a nap um i will probably just like refresh my makeup a little bit you can see like my dark circles i'm gonna do like a little bit more blending and everything anyway i'm just gonna like take a nap because i'm just so tired right now so yeah i just turn off the light the immediate light that's like right here um but i'm gonna take a nap and i leave on sunday I was supposed to do dinner, but honestly, I'm not hungry after burger and lobster. Um, I'll probably have a few drinks tonight, and that'll be, like, all that I have. And I'll be in Dumbo, like, later. I think, like, at 9 or something. Or, like, I need to be there by 9. So, I'm super tired. I only got three hours of sleep last night. And then, um, we woke up early to check out and stuff. So, anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, so I am going to go out to Harriet's rooftop. It's kind of far though. Just doing my inner corner right now. I think my makeup looks fine though. I feel like I took a nap for two hours. It's fine, but I just like didn't want to like not do anything at all and like so I thought you know what okay I'm just gonna go out and do stuff or whatever and then um like dinner today I just could not I would not have been able to survive it, like, literally at all. I don't even know if I told you guys, but, um, basically, there's a baby, like, screaming on my floor. <laughs> but I have really, like, I get really bad insomnia, like, some nights. Last night was one of them. I just couldn't fall asleep at all. So, literally was up until, like, butt crack of dawn. I'm just doing a little bit of a little bit of curls in my hair just because I need it to be a little curly. Honestly, like I didn't want to go, but it's Thursday night, so what the hell? Like, why not just go? And I literally like have nothing else planned. I think tomorrow I have a lunch, but I'm not even sure. I wish I brought my bigger barrel. I I don't even know like what I thought bringing this small one. I thought. I thought that it was a big one and I just like was in a rush to pack it. I think um, I really miss my other curling iron that Jazzy has, so I don't know if she's using it. If she's not, I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> but I really want to buy the one that Imani has because I actually really love that one. Um, I curled my hair super fast and I don't know, maybe it is the same thing as like the Conair, but I just feel like it's a little bit different. Girls are so tiny. Actually five minutes ago because as soon as I turned on the camera, I've been eating like shit I'm thinking of going to Whole Foods Tomorrow and getting some fruit. I was just I was literally thinking that the whole way we were walking back from Hudson Yards I just like cannot keep eating like this. I need some fruit And it's weird to think that like people like live here like I know like like people probably go to downtown and you know they go to like the fashion district or they go to like I don't know, a concert in the Staples Center and like a lot of people actually live here but honestly I love downtown LA it's just literally like New York just reminds me of home so much and it's so weird because like here like there are literally homeless people on like every block and I don't know I guess 
the rent is still like super competitive. Like it's crazy. I don't know. Like no one. I never heard anyone talk about like homeless in New York. But walking around every street, I just saw it everywhere. I'm trying to do this fast, and this is not like going any faster. <laughs> okay guys so i finished getting ready this is my outfit my top is from zara i honestly don't even know like what number it is or like whatever like details um but i just know it's super cute <laughs> and then my pants are from maritzia and then my shoes are from yes style so just literally the same thing same outfits you guys know a lot of my clothes like some items are just really repetitive because I get them for the sole purpose of being basics and I can wear them over and over again. So that's why like you guys see me mixing and matching a bunch of these pieces that I've been wearing over the past few days. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And this is what my makeup looks like. It's a little like um yellow. It's the Rare Beauty found uh Rare Beauty concealer. And it's honestly not really like my shade. Um yeah, I think it's a little bit too yellow, but it's okay. Just wearing this little mini thing. It's super cute. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys on my phone. Um, maybe vlog a drink or two. But uh, I don't I don't think like I'm going to be very like... Obviously, I'm not going to like vlog a whole meal or anything right now. Just because I am meeting up with other people. But I will definitely catch up with you guys in a bit. Bye. This was me on my way to Dumbo. It was such a nice drive, so beautiful to see the Brooklyn Bridge all lit up and everything. And it was just such a magical time. And this was the view from Harriet's rooftop. This was at the One Hotel in Brooklyn. And it was just so beautiful. I had never seen this view actually, and it was gorgeous. And then my date actually told me to take some photos here. And then I also took this darker one, which you can see the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. You can see the Empire State Building in the center of the bridge, which is how it's supposed to look like, so that was that. Hi guys, I know it looks like I never left, but I just got back. Um, I went to Harriet's rooftop and then I went to... Uh, I was in Dumbo, so I went to go see where like the bridge was and everything to be a little tourist. Um, so I went there and then I might go to the farmer's market in Dumbo on Saturday, so I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely vlog it. I wanted to go just to meet up again and... Um, I feel like our connection was really great and it was like such a good time um so i would love to do it again my friend recommended that i go to Buvet tomorrow for uh for brunch or like for breakfast so i'm definitely considering that um hopefully i wake up early enough it's just gonna be friday tomorrow um what was it i might uh i might end up extending my trip until tuesday so i'm gonna get to editing some vlogs and um Hopefully I have those ready for you guys. But the thing is I need to do like some like inserts for like voiceovers and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to get in the shower. I don't think I'm going to wash my hair. But I'm going to get in the shower, wash my face and everything. And then I will see you guys when I get out. I actually didn't end up picking up the camera after I showered and got ready for bed. So I think I was just really tired. But anyway, that's the end of the vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for the next one. Bye.